Two of the trickiest power moons to collect in Super Mario Odyssey involve jump roping in the Metro Kingdom and volleyball in the Seaside Kingdom. Each one has a hidden second moon that requires you to reach a score of 100, and doing so can be a nightmare. But we wanted to provide some tips that might make the process just a little easier, or a lot easier in the case of volleyball. But let's start with jump rope first. The task begins relatively simple, but the rope gradually picks up speed until you reach a count of 50 where it stays at that pace until you mess up, and timing your jumps from here is especially tricky. But the game actually provides a clue as to when you should jump. One of the ladies always yells, hey, and each time she does, you want to jump, at least until you reach 50, because from this point you have to jump so fast that listening for her haze may no longer work. Instead, you'll want to use the haze to get into a groove leading up to 50, by which point you need to be performing only the shortest of hops by only briefly tapping the jump button the moment that Mario lands. If you can find the rhythm, you should have no issue getting above 100. It's just a matter of timing and keeping up the pace. Volleyball is even simpler because there's a bit of an exploit you can use. As suggested by Riddicrash on Reddit, all you have to do is set the game to two-player mode. Now move Mario into the arena to start the game, then immediately move him out of the way, just outside the white line, and take control of Cappy instead, as he's much faster and more precise. Once you have a handle on his movements, reaching 100 should be no problem, especially since there's a brief grace period if the ball hits the sand, allowing you to pop it back into the air and continue the run. And there you have it, two tips for getting two of the more aggravating moons in Super Mario Odyssey. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Mario and other things gaming.